Hi everyone, Fred here, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of one of Toronto's most spectacular waterfront parks. Welcome to Humber Bay Park. Located on the west end of Toronto in South Etobicoke, Humber Bay Park is a prime destination for every season. Just minutes from the downtown core, you'll find a recreational area filled with trails, green space, and many amenities. But what's better than having a beautiful park so close to downtown Toronto? How about two parks? You see, Humber Bay Park is divided into two sides. The west side, which you see behind me right now, and the east side, which is right over there. Both parks are divided by a pedestrian bridge that runs over the Mimico Creek, which splits both east and west parks. So at the time of filming this video in summer of 2022, the east side of the park has been closed due to construction. It's going through a revitalization process as well as shoreline restoration. But here's the good news. I've been to both parks in the past, so I know exactly what both have to offer. And I do prefer one over the other. And if you stick around, I'll let you know which one I like best. Now, this may be a surprise to most, but this entire park was man-made. It didn't exist before it opened back in 1984. What I'm standing on right now used to be water. It took 5.1 million cubic meters of fill to create this entire park back in the 80s. Let's talk about the West Park. It's absolutely huge. At 300 acres, it's six times larger than the East Park. And unlike the East Park, where you need to explore the majority of the park on foot, the West Park has trails for both bicycles and pedestrians, as well as a road that stretches from one end of the park to the other. This park has it all. It's got a rock beach, many lookout points to enjoy the Toronto skyline, an off-leash dog park, which I love to bring both my dogs to, nature trails throughout, and a public ramp for both boats and personal watercraft. But the best part about this park, it's got a lighthouse. There's actually two lighthouses, and that's because the West Park is home to two yacht clubs, the Mimico Cruising Club and the Etobicoke Yacht Club. But aside from the signage, visitors will barely notice that these two yacht clubs are part of the park. Because a tree lime berm, which you see behind me, borders the entire club section of the park. This tree line serves two purposes. One, for club members, it gives them a sense of privacy. And two, for visitors of the park, it never lets them feel disconnected to the park itself. While you can't actually see the marina from the park, you can still see the beautiful boats sail past as they exit and enter the mouth of the marina, which is one of my favorite pastimes. And that is why the west side is my favorite side of the park. It's so relaxing, especially on a beautiful summer day like today. So, if you're ever in the area, pull up a lawn chair and let's watch the boats together. I'm, I'm gonna get back to watching the boats. Honey? Yes, dear. Where are the boats? No idea, sweetheart. No idea. <laughs> 